Oh, oh friendship. friendship! Again? Wow. wow. How are you, hey. Makan? How are I'm you? I'm doing guys? very well. How are you? I'm good. So I recently watched the movie and I loved it. I loved it so much. But you know, now I have a few questions that I really want to ask. <laughs> right, cool. First questions from Makat. So you know, Jack's losing his arms is like one of the pinnacles of his origin story. So could you like mm. walk us through what was it like for you filming the scene when Sub Zero freezes and destroys your arms? <clears throat> um, so I mean, I, I'm not sure if there's any particular canon of how Jack loses his arms. He loses it in several different ways in the games, right? But um, so, um, it, as an actor, uh, I made the mistake of of watching Joe Taslam in a movie <laughs> called The Raid <laughs> the night before we had the fight. So, I didn't sleep the night before because <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was like, I got to fight this guy. And so, like, our, the, the the fight scenes are really, really intricate. And like Lewis will tell you, like, our, our fight scenes like take a week. Like, five minutes is like a week, right? So Joe and I got to know each other really well and, and very intimately in the fight scene. And like, my nervousness kind of left in the in the beginning. And like Joe was like, you know, we we're doing the choreography, and, and like Joe just makes it seem like a dance. And so, and it is a dance. And it's like, so when you're watching Joe Tasman do a fight scene, it's like watching Michael Jackson in his prime up close. Right. So that's that's what I can tell you about the fight scene. Um, I lost my voice with all the yelling and like, you know, uh, the, the intensity of like losing the arms. thought my eyes were going to pop out of my head and, and my voice was gone for about a week. But you, you do what you do. Perfect. It looked absolutely painful. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. I um, you're playing an original character, so unlike your co-stars, you don't really have a history to lean on when you're playing your role. So who or what were your inspirations when portraying Cole? Well, Cole um, is a character that starts off in a very uh, interesting position in his life where he feels lost. He feels like he's missed an opportunity. He's missed a shot. He's uh, not living up to his full potential. And I think that that's something that's very relatable to a lot of people. Um, myself included, you know. In Mortal Kombat, talent will only get you so far. Um, feeling like you have to prove yourself, feeling like, you know, you're not good enough and no one's giving you this chance and, you know, you had this opportunity and now it's gone and maybe you're never going to have it again. And, you know, as an actor and as, a, as an Asian actor especially, you, you always have those kind of emotions. So I pulled a lot from some real parts of who I am. And then also um, Cole, his fighting style as an MMA, so he has a, he's a mixed martial artist, and um, as a martial artist myself, I pull a lot from you know my old senseis and you know my training. Um, and then there's a UFC fighter named uh, Jorge Masvidal, who used to be a, a bare knuckle backyard boxer. Um, that now he's one of the best UFC fighters in the world, and um, he has a really cool physicality about him and. Um, kind of like a salt of the earth grittiness about him. And um, I took the body language um, from him. Uh, so that's the inspiration for the character. And there's many other things too, but I can't give away all my secrets. Okay, I love that. Gotta so, watch the movie. Definitely gonna ask people to watch the movie, but you know, <laughs> I'll be with you guys. Okay, this game is called Guess What's Next? Um, it's just a short clip and you kind of guess what's happening next. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you just um, gonna guess? Well, I'm, they're I'm, not I'm, gonna have a tea party after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you you know what happens to Evercod, right? Yeah, I know what happens. Um it's well it's a home run. Like he like like he gets he gets the head back and then uses the arm for it. I call that lend me a hand though. <laughs> yup. All right, he got it. All right. Hey. All righty. And that's the custom. So 
It's Arnold, it's Terminator. Oh my god. Wow. I'm you gonna know let you what? I don't, I, I don't know this one because I haven't seen uh, his fatalities yet, but I'm assuming that there's some sort of time portal that's gonna uh, occur, and then I'm assuming that there's some sort of horrific thing that's gonna happen with the shotgun. Let's see. I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say it's liquid steel. Oh wow, you're right. I was close. No, you that you were right. I was close. Like you, that was important. That was definitely important. Let's go, Chin Han. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, um, so yeah, go go ahead, go ahead. So somebody's soul's about to get jacked. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna turn in. He, yeah, someone's soul is gonna get sucked. He's about to turn into something different. Um, and uh, Chin Han from Singapore knows this answer, but it looks, it looks, he looks so much like Chin Han. It's crazy. Let's like see. Chin killed that. Oh, oh friendship. friendship again! Wow! Wow! I like you that. Got, you, you got me on that one. Now that's that's Makad's favorite fatality, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Yes. All the Taste the rainbow. <laughs> the card is all about peace and love, so that's that's yeah, that's my favorite one. Like that one. Or the or the Jack saxophone. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack saxophone's good. I think oh I think you should play a different instrument, but that's just me. Oh my god, I actually have many more, but we have to go. I think that's all the time I oh. have with you. I'm so sad, but that was, it was fun. It's fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank My you pleasure. so much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you liked the film. Yeah, thank you.